Rebecca, what the hell are you doing? Why are you messing with my house? You never asked me for my permission. What? How did you find out? I haven't told you anything yet. I found some papers and contracts from the renovation company when I was cleaning. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that they were all signed and done. I called them right away to ask what was going on. They said that you hired them and filled out everything for the renovation of my house. Oh no, Eddie screwed up big time. I told him to hide the papers in my room after he checked them. He must have left them in the living room by mistake. I wanted to surprise you with this. What a pity. So Eddie is in on this too? How could my son do this behind my back? Of course he is. He's the one who suggested to keep this a secret from you. He knew that you would hate the idea of renovating this house. That's why we didn't say anything to you. How dare you do this without my consent? Well, I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Can you please sign the contracts while you have them? There are some spaces for you to sign. We couldn't do that part because it had to be signed by the owner of the house and land. Come on, sign them quickly. Don't keep me hanging. I'm not signing anything. There's no way we're renovating this house. Why are you so against it? It would be so much better for us all if we renovated this old house. We're even planning on upgrading the kitchen and buying all new appliances too. It's going to make our lives so much easier. I'm sorry, but I don't want to change this house at all. This house is full of precious memories of my husband and parents. They're gone now. This house is all I have left of them. I don't want to lose that. I've always taken good care of this house. There's no need to renovate anything. Maybe it's fine for you, but it's not fine for us. We can't stand living in this smelly old house. It's so outdated and ugly. All my friends live in new houses that are so stylish and cozy. It's so humiliating for me to live in this old dump with my mother-in-law. How can you talk like that about this house? I just told you how much this house means to me. This house is over 50 years old. I'm just telling you the truth when I say it's old and rotten. I hate that all the floors are made of wood. It's so cold and gloomy. I hate this place. Everything in the house is so ancient. If you're going to keep disrespecting this house, then just get out. You can go and build your own house however you want. Now you're threatening us? You're so hilarious sometimes. Are you really telling us to leave this house? Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you. If you're going to keep whining like this, you might as well leave. Are you sure you want to do that? Eddie and I are doing you a huge favor by staying with you. I think you're going to regret kicking us out like that. Are you sure you can handle living alone? I never invited you guys to live with me in the first place. You and Eddie begged me to let you stay with me so that you could save some money. I don't care if you guys leave. Go ahead if you're so eager. Don't worry about me. Is that how you want to talk to me? I know that deep inside, you were thrilled to have us live with you. You're going to be so miserable if we leave this house. I suggest that you stop being so rude to me and show me some gratitude. Or else, we're really going to pack our bags and go. You're not going to have anyone to rely on. No one's going to take you to the hospital when you drop dead of old age. I told you not to worry about me. I'll be perfectly fine living here alone. It's probably much better for my sanity if you guys leave, actually. You're an old granny living off your pension. There's no way you're going to manage by yourself in the future. I know that you're going to need us very soon. Be nice to me if you want me to help you in the future. You need to do what I want if you want us to stay here. Make sure that you sign all the papers and contracts for the renovation by today. You're going to regret it if you don't.
Hey, mom, how long are you gonna pout like this? It's been hours already. I don't get why you're so mad about this. We just want to renovate the house. It's not a big deal. You're acting like such a child about this. Did you really have to run away from this house? Where did you even go? I'm at my friend's house right now, and it's not just a renovation to me. That house is very dear to me, and I don't want to change it at all. can't believe that you guys went behind my back with this idea. You should have talked to me first if you wanted a chance at a renovation. What are you talking about? Talking to you would have been useless. You would have said no, and that would have been it. This was the only way we could get the renovation done. We had no choice but to do this. Actually, I would have considered it if you guys had talked to me first. But you two went ahead and did everything without me. I wouldn't have known about this if I hadn't found the contracts while I was cleaning the living room. Now you two are telling me to sign them right away. I'm so furious. Did you really think I would just agree and sign everything? Oh my god, you are so irritating. You never stop nagging. Would you just sign all the papers and contracts already? That's all I need you to do. You can leave the rest to us. We plan the renovations carefully so that you can retire and live here happily for the rest of your life. If we get the renovations done, you don't have to look for a retirement home. If you really planned these renovations for me, then you should have talked to me first. How are you going to change the house to suit me when I had no input in it? Would you please stop whining about every little thing? If you're going to be stubborn about this, then we have another plan. We don't mind moving out at all. Then you're going to be all alone and have no one to help you. Are you sure that's what you want? You're saying the same thing as Rebecca. Both of you keep trying to scare me by moving out. I told her the same thing, but she didn't care. Stop pretending to be brave. You're old and you depend on us a lot. You're going to depend on us even more in the future. You have no one else to support you if we leave. My younger brother Dan left the country after he graduated from university. I haven't heard from him since. Dad also died a few years ago, so you have no one else. Me and Rebecca are the only ones you have. So you're saying that I should do whatever you say because you're all I have left? You expect me to just let you renovate my house without my permission? You're basically trying to extort me. Yeah, pretty much. You should be more thankful for us living with you. Not many people are willing to live with their parents at my age. You should thank us more for letting us renovate the house as a way of giving back to us. What are you talking about? I have nothing to thank you guys for. In fact, you should thank me by giving me this house already. I think I've earned it already. I can't believe that you still want to keep the house and the land in your name. Give this place to me already. If you can't do that yet, at least let me renovate it how I want. You're such a selfish woman. I told you, I have nothing to be thankful for. You two were the ones who wanted to move in with me. You said that you needed to save money and pleaded with me to let you two stay here. I can't believe you're acting so smug after I did you both a huge favor. Who cares about that? It was ages ago and I don't remember any of it. Stop trying to avoid the topic. All I need you to do is sign the renovation contracts. It's not a hard thing to do. We've already told the company to start the renovation. It's too late to back out now. What? I can't believe this is happening. Also, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. We're going to need you to chip in for the renovation costs. You also need to find somewhere else to live while the renovations are going on. We've already found a place for ourselves. The renovation company said that we can't enter the house while they're working on it. Wait a minute. You can't be serious. You guys decided to renovate my house without my permission. Why should I have to pay for any of the renovation costs? That's not fair at all. Stop being so greedy. We're not asking you to pay for everything. I know that dad left you a lot of money in his will. 
it's time you used some of it on something good for all of us. You also got money from him in his will. He left you a pretty big amount. Unfortunately, I've already spent most of it. Me and Rebecca used most of it on our wedding and honeymoon. What? You've spent it all already? I know that you haven't touched any of the money that dad left you. You've been living so cheaply even after he gave you all that money. I'm giving you a chance to spend some of it. It's not like you're gonna use it all before you die. So, this is what you wanted from the start. You had this all planned out from the beginning. I was actually a little happy when you guys decided to move in with me. I'm very disappointed now that I've realized your true motive. What are you talking about? Stop making false claims against me. We're going to do you a favor by staying with you. So hurry up and sign the papers. Hello? Rebecca? Would you be able to explain what is going on to me? Why is my room gone after the renovations? Did you really think I would accept this? This is my house. How could I not have my own room anymore? Wait, what? How do you know about that already? The company told me that the renovations would be completed today, even though we're moving back in next week. That's why I decided to come and take a look with my own eyes. None of the renovations have been done as I was told. It's completely different from the plan that you two gave me. I don't even have my own room anymore. It's time for you to explain what's happened. You were the one behind this, right? Ugh, I can't believe that you found out about it already. Oh well, I guess I should tell you what's happening. As you can see, you no longer live in your room anymore. You're going to have to sleep in the living room from now on. What? So make sure that you wake up before we do every day. I don't want to see you sleeping on the sofa every morning. Also, every night you have to make sure to go to sleep after we go to sleep. I don't want to hear you snoring in the living room. You can't be serious. This is my house. We also had to make the toilets and corridors quite narrow so that we can make our bedroom and living room more spacious. We're not going to be able to fit a wheelchair through the corridors. So make sure you try to stay healthy. You're going to have to live in a nursing home as soon as you need a wheelchair. I don't think it's going to be that long, considering how old you are. You told me that the house would be renovated so that it would be elderly friendly. Eddie told me that the renovated house would be easier for me to live in when I got older. That's one of the only reasons I finally decided to agree to this. I'm planning on living here till the day I die. We had all that planned, but we had to change some of the plans last minute, unfortunately. How could you do that without telling me? Well, it couldn't be helped, unfortunately. We thought the house should be designed to our taste. We are going to be living here longer than you after all. You probably don't have that long left, so your opinions are not important. I can't believe it. There's no way I'm letting you two get away with this. The house looks completely different from what I was told it would look like. You really crossed a line this time. I want you to cancel these stupid renovations right away. Are you stupid? That's definitely not possible anymore. The changes have been made and they can't be reversed. It's time for you to accept reality and start preparing for it. Honestly, it won't be that bad sleeping in the living room. I'm not going to be sleeping in the living room. I am demanding that I have my own room back. Do you guys not realize that this house is in my name? I am the owner. You two should be grateful that I even signed the contract for the renovations. I can't believe that you would change all the renovation plans behind my back. Traitors! Actually, you should be grateful that we're upgrading the house. We are doing you a huge favor living with you in that house. Are you seriously using that as an excuse again? 
Living with me doesn't automatically give you guys the right to do whatever you want. Who do you think you are? I am the lovely wife of your eldest son. Also, I forgot to tell you one more thing. We need to discuss the renovation fees with you. We're going to have to ask you for $100,000. Did you just say $100,000? That's a ridiculous amount of money. You can pay it, right? You still have all the money left that your husband left you in his will. I am definitely not paying that huge amount of money. Eddie told me that I would only have to pay for a small portion of the renovation fees. When we changed the renovation plans, we added lots of luxury options. So the fee went up quite a bit. So you guys expect me to pay for all the additions you two made? Yes, that's exactly what we're expecting. We knew that you had lots of money saved up and you probably had nowhere else to use that money. I think the bill should be paid by the person with the most money. Well, what if I decline the payment? What are you planning to do? We're not going to take no for an answer. You're going to have to pay to live here. You know that we have nowhere else to go and nobody to depend on. Therefore, you definitely have to pay for the renovation fees. You really have no choice. You're so lucky that you get to live with Eddie and I. We promise that we'll look after you. A hundred grand is very cheap if you think about it like that. Actually, I don't plan on living in that house anymore. Wait, what are you talking about? I am definitely not going to be paying the $100,000 for the renovation. You two are the ones that are going to be living in that house. So you should pay the renovation fees. Wait, hold on. What? What are you saying all of a sudden? You're going to continue living with us in that house? Even after the renovations are complete, right? If you're going to live with us, then you have to pay the renovation fees. Makes sense. Well, I'm not planning to continue living with you guys. Therefore, I am not going to be paying for any of the renovation fees. I already have the next place I'm going to be living prepared. I definitely don't intend on living in a house like this. You really have a new place to live? When did you have the time to find that? We didn't know about that. I did a lot of research and searching while that house was being renovated. Even though I don't have any relatives I can depend on close by, I still keep in contact with them. I decided to text my other son to help me look for a place. I also have a lot of friends nearby who are willing to help me. They're all helping me out so that I'm ready to move into my new place by myself. Your other son? Are you talking about the one that went abroad after he graduated from university? Yep, that's the one I'm talking about. His name is Dan, by the way. He replied to me as soon as I explained the situation I was in. He asked me which city I wanted to live in and researched some properties that would be suitable for me to live in. I had no idea you guys still kept in contact. I thought that you guys had cut ties with each other. Completely. I actually get along pretty well with Dan. We might not talk very much, but we get along very well. He's a very independent person and usually only contacts me when something important has happened. I thought me and Eddie were the only family that you could depend on. As his mom, I wish he would contact me more often, but I also know he's very busy. I'm happy as long as I know that he is healthy and doing well. He's also a very kind person and was really helpful when I told him about the mess I was in. He said that he would pay for all the costs of moving me into my new apartment. No way. That's not fair at all. That means that you don't have any intention of living with us in the renovated house. I have no intention of ever living with the two of you again. You guys are going to have to pay for the renovation fees by yourself. Don't bother asking me for any money. I'm not giving you two a single cent. That's not going to work. We got the renovations done because we thought that you would pay the $100,000.
There is no way we can pay off the cost by ourselves. You can't just run away without paying the money. We're not going to be able to pay the renovation company at this rate. What are we meant to do? I have no idea what you guys should do. Figure that out yourselves. I'm pretty satisfied now that I got to see all the renovations that have been done to my house. I'm going to start moving into my new apartment today. I hope that you and Eddie enjoy this renovated house. It actually looks pretty nice. What the hell is going on, Mom? Are you seriously not going to keep living with us? This isn't how I thought things would go. Also, I heard that you're still in contact with Dan. Is that really true? Yep, it's true. He found a really nice place for me to live in. You can't be serious. I thought that you were going to live with us in the renovated house. That's what you told us. You better pay for the renovation costs like I asked you to. My entire plan was going so well until this moment. I'm not gonna let you leave without paying the $100,000. I have no intention of helping your disgusting plan succeed. You plan to trick me into giving you a large sum of money. You really need to give up and just pay the renovation fees by yourself. You must have saved up a lot of money while living in my house, right? I didn't ask you to pay any rent at all. We didn't manage to save up any money at all. There's no way we can pay for the renovation fees. We spent all the money we saved by living with you already. We went on many vacations and bought a lot of expensive accessories. Now that I think about it, you two went on vacation at least once a month. All those watches that you have in your room must have cost a lot of money too. I guess you guys really don't have any savings at all. Having a second girlfriend must also be pretty expensive, too. Wait, what? Second girlfriend? What are you talking about? I would never betray Rebecca like that. Stop saying weird things like that to me. There's no point trying to hide anything. I have evidence, you know. You left all of the housework to me, right? I even had to clean your room from time to time. I accidentally came across your second mobile phone and saw a bunch of messages from another girl. You're joking, right? Nobody's meant to know about that. You're lucky that Rebecca didn't find out yet. Although it's her fault for making me do all the cleaning around the house, she would have found her second phone by now if she had done the cleaning from time to time. I'm begging you to please keep this a secret. Rebecca definitely can't find out about this. If she finds out, I'm basically dead. I promise that I'll sort out the payment for the renovations by myself. I won't bother you anymore. Please keep this a secret for me. Okay, fine. I don't mind keeping this a secret from Rebecca, as long as you leave me alone from now on. I'm not going to be paying for any of the renovations, okay? I don't want to ever have to interact with you ever again. Don't talk to me or come and see me. I'm begging you, please help us out. Can't you just lend us the money to pay for the renovations? We swear we'll pay you back the hundred grand, bit by bit. Please let us borrow the hundred grand. We really need it. It's an emergency. You have all the money you inherited from your husband, right? I'm sure you won't miss that money. I have been saving up for a while, so I wouldn't have any trouble living without the $100,000. But I have no intention of letting you guys borrow any of my money. Why are you being so cruel? We don't have anyone else to ask for money. Neither of us have any savings. We tried to get a loan from the bank, but we were denied because our credit score is so bad. We also just spent our emergency funds on a new car. We thought you would be paying for the renovations, and that's why we bought a new car. Well, you should have kept the emergency funds for an emergency like this. It's not my fault that you guys bought a car. That is not my problem at all. 
You guys need to figure this out yourselves. I'm sure you both have some expensive things that you can sell. All those watches and fancy bags. We didn't take care of our expensive items, so they're not worth anything now. We tried selling some things, but we hardly made any money from them. You're both so pathetic. I don't know what to tell you. That's why I'm asking you for help. My bank account is totally empty. I have zero dollars left. I always spent my whole paycheck as soon as I got it. Oh yeah, I forgot that you kept going on dates with other men in your spare time. No wonder your bank account is empty. Going on dates is pretty pricey, right? You must have spent a lot of money on your looks too. What did you just say? Eddie doesn't know about it yet, but I know everything. He has always been a little dense, so he probably hasn't caught on to any of the clues yet. Some of the bags and jewelry that you wear look like the kind of gifts rich men give to the women they like. I got all those things from my friends. Also, you reeked of alcohol and perfume on the days you said you were working overtime. I seriously doubt that you were doing any work at all. I've also heard you talking to some people on the phone. It sounded like you were flirting with someone. I knew it wasn't Eddie because he texted me at the same time. No way! I can't believe that you were snooping on me. I wasn't snooping on you. You should have done a better job hiding it. Don't worry though. I haven't told Eddie about you cheating on him yet. I doubt he's going to find out anytime soon. I'm begging you. Please keep this a secret from him. He's going to divorce me if he finds out about this. I'll have nothing left if he leaves me. I only went on dates with other men because I was stressed out. It was the only way I could relax. I promise that will never happen again. I'll be loyal to Eddie from now on. There's no point making any excuses to me. I don't care what you do in your free time. I'm more angry that you keep asking me for money for the renovation costs. I'm really fed up with that. I promise I won't bring that up again. I'm sure we can find a way to solve this ourselves. I'm begging you, please keep this a secret between us. Don't tell Eddie that I was going on dates with other men. I'm so sorry for what I did, and I wish I could turn back time and stop myself. So you're going to make the same promise to me as well? You two are really so similar. You're both doing exactly the same thing and saying the same thing to me. What are you talking about? Me and Eddie is similar? I wonder what that means. <laughs> I'm sure you can figure it out yourselves. Anyway, if you promise to leave me alone about the renovation costs, then I promise to not tell Eddie anything. In fact, I want to end our relationship completely from now on. I don't want you to visit me, and I also don't want you to call me at all all. Thank you so much for keeping it a secret. I promise to do what you want. I will never bother you again. Okay, that's good to hear. Well, I hope you and Eddie have a wonderful future together. I hope that you two learn from this and think about how you manage your money. Both of you need to have a serious talk with each other about your future. I have to go now so that I can get ready to move into my new apartment. Goodbye forever! Both Eddie and Rebecca kept their word and left me alone about the renovation costs. They somehow managed to find someone to lend them some money and paid off the renovation fees. Now they are both working hard to pay back their debt. but. Their troubles are not over yet. Rebecca discovered Eddie's second phone and found out that he had been cheating on her with another woman. They had a huge fight. 
And that's when Eddie learned that Rebecca had been dating different men behind his back. Their relationship is falling apart and they are heading for a divorce. I can't wait for them to split up so that I can sell my house that they ruined for me. I'm already talking to a real estate agent who will help me find a buyer for that house. 